David Smith here with another Flip Classroom video. Three tips before we start. First, remember you can pause the video anytime to catch up with your notes. Second, you can turn on the captions below so you can watch my words go by on the screen. And lastly, you can play the video at double speed if that helps you get through it faster. All right, today's lesson is going to be on scale factors and scale drawings. But before we do that, I just want to let you know that this is my 300th YouTube video. Woohoo! So, you guys in this class, you're stoked. You got to see the 300th video. Now I'm working for my 400th. So, I'm excited. I hope this video is well liked. So, let's get started. So, basically, a scale factor is what you're going to need to work on our project, our solar system walk. And the first thing I want to ask you is, what is a scale drawing? Think about that for a minute. Just put your mind to, what is a scale drawing? Okay, let's see how you did. So, the first definition that I came up with here is it's an enlarged or reduced drawing of an actual object. Okay, so we have reasons for why we want to scale something down or up so that we can make a drawing of it. Now, scale drawings can be super accurate. So what you could do is you can actually measure things on the drawing and then you can use the scale factor to determine how big they are in reality. Pretty neat. Okay, next question. I want you to pause the video and think of at least two things that you already know about in life that actually are scale drawings. So pause the video and think about that for a second. Okay, here's three examples. You might have thought of some of these, but there's a lot more out there. So first off, a map. A map is a scale drawing. Okay? It's reduced from reality and it lets you figure out where you are and go places. A floor plan, like of a building or a house or a classroom, a floor plan is also a scale drawing of that floor. Finally, here's another one people know about blueprints. Architects draw up blueprints of the buildings they're designing and those blueprints are scaled down drawings of those buildings. Okay, another question for you. Why are scale drawings useful? Because they must be, otherwise we wouldn't make them. And as you're going to learn with our project, they could be a little challenging to make. So they take time and thinking and energy and stuff like that. So why are they useful? Pause the video for a second, see if you can come up with a few ideas. Okay, let's see how you did. One thing they can be used for is they'll show a very large or very small thing easily on one page. Think about a map. You can put the whole state that you're in on one piece of paper and you can look at all the roads and look at where you might want to go. Second thing, they can be used to calculate. If you have a scale drawing of a floor plan, then you can use that scale drawing to calculate the actual square footage of the building. And it would be accurate. As long as your scale drawing is accurate, you would know what the actual square footage is. Finally, it can be used to show you how to build stuff. We talked about blueprints. Blueprints generated by architects are what contractors and carpenters and electricians, it's what they use to actually build the building that was in the architect's mind, okay? Also, think about this. If you've ever gone to Ikea and bought furniture and took it at home, what's your next step? You gotta build it. What do you use to build it? Instructions. So instructions for things like that are very often scale drawings. You see little drawings of the things you're building and they are or should be drawn to scale. Okay, I want to talk about something that is in the vocabulary. I've actually already said it a few times during, during this lesson. First off, when you scale something down, you're making a large thing in reality smaller. And that's what we're going to do in our project with our solar system walk. But there's also another way to scale things. Imagine if you have a, a setup so you can take photographs of one cell creatures in your microscope. And it's going to make a nice picture so you can see all the components of the of the celled critter and things like that. That picture is scaled up from reality. That one celled creature is so tiny you can't possibly see it with your naked eye, but through a microscope you can totally see it. Now when you make that picture, that's a scaled up drawing. Okay, the, the key thing in a scale drawing is the scale factor. And that's a number that relates the real thing to the thing that you've made your drawing of where you've scaled it up or scaled it down. So we're going to do an example with a soccer pitch to talk about how to find a scale factor. So I've got our soccer pitch here and this is, I obviously I shrunk it down to put it on the board. In reality it's 105 meters long or we're going to say that's the width. We're going to call that the length. That makes more sense to me. 
Okay, so the length of it is 105 meters. Now we have a scale drawing, and I've done this accurately. I measured, this drawing is 30 centimeters. We want to find out what the scale factor is between the reality and our little scale drawing. So here's a way to do that. In fact, here is the way to do that. Scale factor, SF, is the actual length divided by the drawing length. So go ahead and pause the video and do that calculation and come up with your scale factor. Okay, let's see how you did. So first off, the actual length is 105 meters and our drawing length is 30 centimeters. You have to put them in the same units. That's super important. So I'm gonna convert that to centimeters. So 105 meters is 10,500 centimeters. To go from meters to centimeters, you just add two zeros or multiply by 100. And then my, um, my drawing length is 30 centimeters. Pull out your handy dandy calculator and do that calculation. So once you've done that calculation, it's 350. And so what this means is the scale factor is a one to 350, okay? And so there's some, that, that has a very specific meaning in terms of our drawing. That means every unit here is 350 units in reality. So if you measure a centimeter on this diagram, that length here, when you translate it to reality, is actually 350 centimeters. If I measured 10 centimeters here, then it would be 3,500 centimeters there. You just use that scale factor, you multiply this way to get the real length, or you divide from, by the scale factor from the real length to get the scale length. Okay, so that's, that's basically how you do it. Now what I want you to do is we're gonna do the width. So the width of a soccer pitch is 68 meters, and that's the width. What I want you to do is pause the video and use the scale factor that we've done here to find out what this width would be on our scale drawing. Okay, so I'm gonna use this equation. Scale factor equals actual length over drawing length. So I have 350 equals the actual length, 68 over our variable x. So the way we do this is when the variable's down low in a fraction like this, remember this is 350 over one, you can just um, cross multiply, watch this. So I get 350x equals one times 68, so that equals 68. So x is going to be 68 divided by 350. So like I said a little earlier, the shortcut, you don't have to do the ratio. You just realize if you're going from reality to your scale drawing, you divide by your scale factor, you divide reality, reality by the scale factor, and that will give you your drawing length. Now before we do this calculation, I want you to tell me what's wrong with that. There's one thing I didn't do that I did up here. Okay, let's see if you found it. That's 68 meters, that's 350 centimeters. The units aren't the same. So I'm gonna convert this top thing to 6,800 in all the places in my equation. And now I've got it. I can do the 6,800 divided by 350 and I get 19.4 centimeters. So this length here is 19.4 centimeters. Okay, now let me work, walk you through making a scale drawing when you know the scale factor. So here's our problem. We've got a volleyball court. This is reality. This drawing is itself scaled down, but we're gonna pretend like this is the real thing. We went out there to that volleyball court and we measured the width was nine meters and we measured the length was 18 meters. So there's our volleyball court. Now, as you might be guessing at this moment, I'm gonna ask you to make a scale drawing of the volleyball court. So here's the way that might be stated. Use a scale factor of one to 50 to make a scale drawing of the volleyball court. So that means that on our scale drawing, every centimeter on the drawing is 50 centimeters in reality. That's what this scale factor is telling us. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that to figure out what the scaled width and the scaled length would be for our scale drawing of the volleyball court. 
So the first thing I want you to do, consult the notes you just took or just use your brain. I want you to find the new length, the scaled length. Let's write that here. Scaled length of our drawing. So go ahead and pause the video and do that calculation. Okay, let's see how you did. If you remembered that you take the actual and divide it by the scale, you're gonna get the, the scaled length. So let's do that. So the actual is 18. We're gonna divide it by 50 to get the scaled length. Okay, so when I pump that into the calculator, I get 0 0.36. Now, that means that the, the, the drawing length is gonna be 0.36 what? 0.36 meters. Now, on our drawing, meters is already a too big of a unit to use on a small drawing. And fortunately, 0.36 meters is actually just 36 centimeters. So that's not too bad. Okay, now I'm gonna have you calculate the scaled width. So go ahead and pause the video and do that calc. Okay, let's see how you did. So our actual length is nine meters. Our scale factor is 50, so we're dividing nine by 50. That gives us 0.18 meters. And again, that's not a, a useful unit for a small size drawing. So we're gonna convert that to centimeters. That's 18 centimeters. So now we have the, um, the actual measurements that are in our scale drawing. So if you wanna go ahead and draw that rectangle, if you have a handy dandy ruler with marked centimeters, go ahead and do that, pause the video. Okay, here is mine, 36 centimeters by 18 centimeters. This is roughly accurate. I used my ruler to do it. Now that you have that, a scale drawing reaches out from itself to the person viewing it. So you need some stuff to make it clear what this rectangle represents. It's already all by itself an accurate scaled down drawing of a volleyball court. But if you saw a piece of paper with this rectangle on it, you'd go, what's that? It's a rectangle. So pause the video and write down some more stuff around there that you think would help your reader or your viewer understand what they've got. Okay, let's see how you did. So first thing, titles. So many students do good work, but they forget about putting a title on anything. So scaled drawing of volleyball court. That tells people two things. One, that rectangle is a volleyball court. Two, that it's a scaled drawing, so it's not actual size. I also put the measurements on. And notice how I didn't put my scaled measurements. I put the real measurements. People need to know what the real size of the thing you've drawn is. So if I put nine centimeters here or whatever, 18 centimeters there, that's confusing because a volleyball court is not 18 centimeters wide, it's nine meters. So I put my real measurements, then I put my scale factor, one to 50, so that's there, that's a clue. And then this last little thing, this little tick mark, it's like this, but drawn much smaller, that's intended to be one centimeter distance. So on your drawing, that needs to be actually one centimeter. So what I'm telling you here is that one centimeter on the drawing equals 50 centimeters in real life. So now you have all the essential ingredients. Now, of course, if you wanted to get a little bit more um, interesting about it, you could draw the half court line, and I know volleyball courts have other lines on them. You could sketch those in to kind of make it a little bit more alive, but essentially this is a good scale drawing at one to 50 scale of a volleyball court. I start that. Does it go? Here, I can open the video. I'm but opening. Now that you've watched the video, write down any questions you still have so you can remember to ask them in class next time we meet. Also, note that you can watch the video again if you want to deepen your understanding or patch up any gaps. Finally, give me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Yeah!